Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Ask Amity Show. My name is Cindy Nguyen. I'm an attorney here at Amity Law Group, and I'm here with Jennifer. And today we want to talk about uh, California grant deed. Uh, what is a grant deed and how do we use a grant deed? So a grant deed is a form of deed that is common in California, which contains implied warranties to the effect that the grantor has not previously conveyed or encumbered the property. The main purpose of a grant deed is to transfer property title from one person to another, such as from a seller to a buyer. A grant deed is written evidence that you actually own your property. Additionally, the grant deed provides title guarantees to the new owner. So what are some of the common uses of a California grant deed? In California, grant deeds are probably the most popular form of recording um, title. They are often used in the following circumstances. Uh, to transfer property from one person to another, especially if the transfer is a sale and not a gift, to add or remove a person's name from the deed, to transfer property to or from a trustee of a living trust, to add a person as a co-owner of that property, to transfer property to or from a business such as an LLC, to transfer ownership to a spouse after marriage or from a spouse after divorce, or to change how co-owners hold title, such as converting the property from community property to separate property or uh, vice versa from separate property to community property, or even from joint tenancy to tenancy in common, and again, vice versa from common uh, in, from tenancy in common to joint tenancy. Yes, and uh, it's important to um, confirm that your grant deed actually fulfills the requirements for it to, to actually work. So when you submit a grant deed for recording, uh, there are certain criteria that it has to adhere to. So um, the grant deed is uh, completed and has to be signed by the grantor whose signature must be notarized. Um, you also have to determine whether or not there's what's called a documentary transfer tax. So usually, you know, if you're going through a, a sale, a purchase and sale type of situation, there would be uh, some sort of documentary transfer tax versus um, if it's a gift or perhaps an inheritance, uh, you may not have this issue, uh, but you would need to determine that and maybe view a list of the acceptable exempt exemptions on the statement. Um, and then all you're going to need to uh, complete a preliminary change of ownership form that is, um, you know, uh, specified by the county. So each county may have their own uh, preliminary change of ownership form that you're going to have to uh, file along with that grant deed in order to uh, make sure that it is recorded properly. Um, and then again, the grant deed, um, it has to fulfill like certain requirements of the California law, uh, including having a proper legal description of the property, uh, a statement of consideration, um, and a description of the manner in which the co-owners will hold title. So, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of specifics with this along with font size, page and format requirements. So if any of you need assistance with confirming that your grant deed uh, fulfills these requirements, feel free to give us a call. We'd be happy to talk to you about, you know, how to hold title, um, whether or not the grant deed is uh, properly written, um, any sort of questions dealing with your grant deed, we'd be happy to assist. So feel free to give us a call at Amity Law Group. Thank you.